Hey everyone, it's your girl Twin D and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much guys for coming in for your message from the creator. Anyways guys, oh and from your masculine too. <laughs> Anyways guys, this reading I'll be doing will be to figure out how these masculines are feeling on Valentine's Day. And if you notice, I have you in front of my little fireplace. Trying to be romantic, as dramatic as I am. Yes, I had to do something different. It's Valentine's Day. And I want it to be pretty. So, let's enjoy the ambiance, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, let's jump right in. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, guys, let's jump right in. Let's see how these masculines are feeling on Valentine's Day. How are these masculines feeling on Valentine's Day, please? They're walking away. You're walking away from something here. They are walking away from something. And that's a number nine. This changes. That could also be that them walking away from you, that's about to change. Maybe they're thinking of coming back. What else? <gasps> Look at that. The man with a heart. They're, they're, that's it. This is another number nine. They are coming towards you with their heart in their hand. Maybe some flowers too. <laughs> what else are these masculines feeling? The garden and the gate. So they have made a decision regarding their feelings and their happiness. Do I continue to feel trapped or do I move towards that one thing that makes me feel free? Move towards that love, that person that truly loves me. When I think the best choice is to move towards that person that truly loves me. Look what's popping up. That's the happy family balance. What else are they feeling? They're feeling broke. They're feeling broke. They want their finances to be balanced. Maybe some of them feel like they don't even have enough money to buy you anything for Valentine's Day. Maybe they want to come in and make things up, but they don't feel like they have enough money to get you a gift. They really want to. Some may even use the little that they have in hopes that you'll appreciate what they're coming with, their heart in their hand. What else are these masculines? Oh. Yep. The woman holding a coin. They're thinking about their independent woman. The woman that they're proud of. They're, they're so proud of you. Proud of their relationship. Proud to be your masculine. Proud that you love them. That you're holding on to them. Happy that you're holding on to them. Happy that they are of some value to somebody. Happy that you make them happy. And communication is going to come in. Communication is going to come in. So you guys may, those who don't get visits, you're going to have communication on this day. Maybe a text message reaching you Valentine's Day, 444 balance. And the all tied up card popped out. So some masculines, as I said, may be feeling all tied up. They don't want to, they want to come to you, but they don't want to because they would not have a gift to bring. 
and some are just going to come with their heart in their hand. Doesn't matter to me, baby. Come on in. You're all that I need. Don't need anything else. Just you. With you and I, we can achieve anything we want. You have no idea how blessed our connection is. Tell me what this walking away card is, please. They're frustrated. They're frustrated. They're tired of holding back. Tired of holding back. Because they realize that nothing good comes without hard work and dedication. And if they want something good for themselves, they're going to have to work for it. Pull it up. They're going to have to work for it and move towards whatever it is that they want. Tell me about this man holding a coin, please. Holding a heart. They have dreams of you. And as I said that, the song that I was listening to today just popped into my mind. It's by Aerosmith. It said, um, and even if I dream of you, the sweetest dream will never do. I still miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. That's what they're saying. They have dreams of you. But those dreams aren't good enough. They want everything. They want you in reality. I don't want to miss one smile. And I don't want to miss one kiss. Tell me about this garden and the gate, please. Why is this garden and the gate regarding how these masculines are feeling on Valentine's Day, please? Don't rush. You'll spoil the cake. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Trust me. Ain't no rush in here. Ain't no rush in here. I can't rush because I can't do anything. The guy got to do something, not me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Tell me about this financial constraint, please, and how these maskings are feeling. That their prayers are going to be answered. Their prayers are going to be answered. And their broke pocket situation will be over very soon. Tell me about this woman holding a coin. I told you. I told you. It fell standing right up. True love. As I said, they're thinking about this woman that they truly love, the person that makes them feel like they're somebody because this is true love. This is true love. And they know it. They know it. Because... They feel it when you speak. They hear you when you say it. And they believe it. And they believe it. Because this card said, feel it, speak it, believe it. They believe that you truly love them. They know that this connection is a spiritual connection and not a regular connection. They know that something is different here. There's a choice that they're going to have to make. Maybe they've already made that choice because they realize that nothing good comes without hard work and dedication and they're going to have to work towards that. And as I split the deck, look what showed up. Oh, my God. I just opened the deck. And that's the card that fell right out. Tell me what these masculines are feeling, please. Oh, wow. Hmm. Told you that they think that this relationship is a spiritual relationship. It's a spiritual connection. And they know this. They know this. 
completion of a cycle. Something is completed here. What else are these masculine thinking about? The journal. Some of them will be writing letters, poems. Stories. There's also another number nine. Nine, nine, and then a ten. A cycle is completing. Which means something is ending and then something new is going to come forth. That's communication. Expect communication from your masculine on Valentine's Day or even after. Doesn't matter. Whenever you see this reading, that's it. What else are these masculines feeling, please? The deception. You're thinking about the deception. It makes them worry. It makes them worry. They're worried right now. Maybe worried that you're not going to accept them because of what went on in the past, but that's, that's about to change. Three and two is five. That's about to change. And in number seven, divine in intervention, God's going to intervene here. God is going to intervene to bring this relationship together. There, as I'm saying it, it's right beside the answered prayer card. What else are these masculines? Communication again. Communication. Along with divine intervention. So God's definitely going to push these masculines. God's going to push these masculines to communicate with you. On this Valentine's Day. After. Whenever. But God's going to push them to communicate with you. What else these masculines are feeling? Please. They're feeling happy thinking about you. They're feeling balanced. They're feeling brand new. They're thinking about this new life that they want to start with you. And on the bottom of the deck is the moon. This tells me that you have no idea what's going on. You have no idea that this abundance, this eight, is coming towards you, Divine Feminine. You have no idea. And this is number five. Changes are coming into your life. So after this balance, that's the change that's going to come. That balance is going to cause changes in your life. Romans Angels, please give me some messages for these Divine Masculines and Feminines for Valentine's Day, please. Okay, let's go. What? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you got to start, if you haven't started as yet, to think positively about your relationship. Think positively about your relationship. It's coming. Trust. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So trust that your relationship is going to come together. Stay optimistic. It's telling you to trust. Deception. See what I was saying? That they're worried about the deception. There was deception. And in this relationship, there has been deception in, in the past. In the beginning. Someone was wearing a false mask. But it's about to fall off. It's about to come off. Because God's not going to allow that mask to stay on. Because this is your soulmate and this is my twin flame card in this deck. This is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. 
is why God is not going to allow that deception to continue. You are to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Which is why they are saying to you, nothing good comes without hard work and dedication. So you have got to work for it. Make the effort, please. Let's get you a guidance message, please. Ooh, outdoors. So some of you guys may be going out for Valentine's Day, getting roses, gifts. Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to release stress and gain new creative ideas. One more, please. Angel Therapy. Archangel Raphael, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Leave it all up to God. That's all you have to do. One more, please. Overcoming difficulties. There you go. Archangel Jeremiel, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. All the challenges you went through with your masculine, that's, that's done. That's over and done with. That's over and done with. You're surmounting those previous challenges. So no need to worry about that. You're past that, that stage. Give me a love message for these masculines and feminines, please. Ooh, I love these cards. I don't use them much, you know. I gotta start using them again. Let's see what the message says. Some people come into your lives and quickly go. Others stay for a while. Leave footprints on your heart and we are never ever the same again. Let me read it again. Some people come into your lives and quickly go. Others stay for a while. Leave footprints on our hearts and we are never ever the same again. That's what happened between us masculines and feminines. Once we enter each other's lives, we are never the same again. We are never the same again. We leave our footprints on each other's heart and we can never forget each other because you have found yourself, the part of you that you had lost. And when you found, when you found yourself again, you don't want to let it go. Anyways, guys, this has been your message. Hope you enjoyed the little scenery in the background here. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, guys, and happy Valentine's Day. Love you all. Bye.